Hey everyone, this is Phil with you again for a quick video. This is the emergency U.S. government shutdown edition of the Google Fusion Table uh, instructional series. Um, real quick, I want to tell you three things. One was about the instructions. Um, the IMLS data, the Public Library Survey data, this is all still valid. Uh, you can still download your information, follow these instructions um, just like you would have. Uh, second, let's see, the U.S. Census data, um, all of this from part two of your um, instructions onward are not valid anymore. Um, do still read over them because there's some really helpful information in there and under normal circumstances uh, this is the way you would go about it and I do recommend reading it again because there's still some really helpful information here that will help you get through this assignment uh, a little bit easier um, okay next I wanted to show you the data so because the um, US Census Bureau website is down and still is I uh, had to find census data from um, an alternative source as well as the shapefiles uh, for your counties from an alternative source and I had to use uh, shapefiles which is the uh, census tract boundary lines from the 2000 census and I had to use the uh, American Community Survey data from the 2010 census and had to do a lot of editing to uh, make these fit together. So, um, and there's also a couple of differences. Uh, in, in the previous videos, uh, the, the previous plan was to give you and let you download the data yourself and you could pick any number of, of uh, demographic data. Uh, instead, I've just provided you with a bunch of different stuff that you can choose from all in the same spreadsheet for your county. So what we're looking at now is Wake County, and you've got household income, you've got total population for the county, uh, you've got a bunch of uh, race statistics, which can tell you about your population if you're a public librarian. Um, also, I've included another group of... of um, of statistics on the language spoken at home, um, which could also tell you a lot. So, and that's all broken down to the right of, of, of this column. Um, if and it's broken down by age, but if you say you wanted to do um, all of them, you could just uh, add all of these into one column, or all of from a specific uh, category from one column, like. Uh, let's say you wanted to add speak Spanish um, this is age group 18 to 64 you and you wanted to add it up with uh, age group 5 to 17 you would just take these two and add them together and then you can do that again and uh, get your total do it that way you can make a ratio be creative with it you can do the same with your, t your population statistics if you want to get a uh, percentage of, uh, of a certain race of the total population. So you have all the data there to uh, manipulate. Um, one more thing about this before I move on. that This column track ID, in the previous set of videos uh, I made a big deal about naming uh, what I call the key column that you're going to use to merge your uh, map data with this uh, census data. Uh, the key column was named geography and uh, this time around it's going to be named track ID um, basically because I didn't have time to go in and edit all of the KML shape files um, and change it to geography uh, for expedience sake I just renamed uh, everything in the the survey data as tract ID. So remember, tract ID is now geography, or other way around, geography is now tract ID. Sorry, uh, if that confuses you, um, when you watch the other videos, uh, you should know what I'm talking about. 
Um, and one last thing, um, right now I'm looking at the Wake County uh, map. You'll notice there are some gaps here in the data. Um, this is an artifact from Excel and when I tried to um, merge the 2010 data into the 2000 data. Basically what happened is the, the name of the census tract is wrong um, and if you click on the rows tab you can actually look at the data and edit it. You'll, you'll notice real quick that uh, a lot of these are, uh, if there is a decimal in the name of the census tract, uh, it is to two decimal places. Uh, unfortunately, um, in Excel, when I was editing all of this, it shortened what would be 10 or 20 or 30 uh, or 0 .10, 0 0.20 to just 0 0.1. So what you can do is click on this and edit it. Um, you'll have to do this before you've done the, the data merge and you, will, you can open it up and edit uh, this field right here. Um, because I'm looking at it after I've merged it, it's not editable. So if you're having that problem, um, go back to the fusion table before you've done the merge and edit that to say 0 0.10 and uh, that should take care of it. Um, if that's confusing, if you have any questions, if you're having gaps in, in your, your data, feel free to email me and I'll do the best to to answer any questions you might have. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, I, I hope you guys have a good time with this, even though it's been, it's been a little bit crazy and a little bit late coming up because of the U.S. government shutdown. Um, send your complaints to the House of Representatives. And if you have any, any compliments or any questions, send them to me. And my email address is right here. It's pwhite at uncg.edu. Uh, good luck, everyone, and have fun with it. Bye now.